Hello. So I've had, well, I've had this cricket bat now for a while and um, sacrilegiously, but I've not actually used it yet. Well, there's been a couple of reasons. One, well, when I went out to America, I ended up doing something. I don't know what I've done to my knee, but it's, it, my knee's not in a great way. So I haven't really played all that much cricket. And also with the, with the winter nets, um, I haven't really wanted to go and use like a brand new cricket bat against the three pound cricket balls that everybody else seems to seems to use I need to knock it in don't i which is is there do you reckon there's anything worse is there anything worse in sport when it comes to equipment than knocking in a cricket bat anyway i need to knock in this world-class willow chaos because i'm going to use it I'll tell you what this thing sounds this sounds so good I hate this job so much. That sound good though, doesn't it? That'll do. Do you know, actually, there's a much more fun way of actually knocking these cricket bats in. I mean, that, that is important and your cricket bat manufacturer or maker will probably tell you off if you don't knock your bat in properly. Um, but if you use kind of lighter balls, you can actually bat with it, which sounds like fun, doesn't it? And knock it in at the same time. So, Oh, that was meant to... Well, you can't do these things one-handed, can you? There we go. So as well as the socks, um, I also got sent this, which is from AirTech, the D30 Pro Arm Guard Sweatband Combo. And you know what? I've never, ever used anything like that. Um, so I'm going to wear it today. I know what you're thinking as well. You're thinking, it's actually quite sunny outside, Dan. Why aren't you playing cricket outside? Well, for those of you that aren't living in the UK, it's basically rained for about nine months solid in the UK, so everything's a bit wet. Oh, it's time, it's time, it's time. So yeah, as you saw in the last video, it's when I got this absolute weapon. World Class Willow Chaos. Yeah, just a stunning, stunning bit of kit. Brand new stickers for 2024 as well, which is incredibly important. Absolutely nothing to do with performance, but they, they, it's important to look good, isn't it? It's a slight difference, to be fair, from the one that I've used in the past. The previous Chaos, which was made for Will Smead, um, is kind of half an inch longer handle, shorter blade than a normal orthodox cricket bat, so to speak. Whereas this one, again, is another half inch shorter than the pink one that I've got, the one that I've used previously. So that's kind of a full inch um, longer handle and a full inch shorter blade. So I don't really know what to expect. I'm excited. I've knocked it in a little bit. I've knocked it in, no, take that back. I've knocked it in quite a lot. I think it's a bit of a weapon. I think it's pretty special. So yeah, let's have a go. Let's, let's have a hit and see how it goes. Here we go then, folks. I swear, like, a new cricket bat is well, better than Christmas, Easter, and your birthday combined. It just is, isn't it? It'd be embarrassing when I nick off the first one as well. Do you know as well, like I don't even think I've ever picked this up with gloves on either, which is kind of embarrassing. That'll do. Definitely feels a bit different in the hands. Oi. Oh, that, yeah, that's gonna take a little bit of getting used to, you know? I say you only think like half an inch, which before anybody gets going with euphemisms, you think that's not much, but actually what I was about to say next probably gets worse. I was gonna say, once you've got that half an inch in your hand, then yeah, it does, it certainly feels quite different. It feels brilliant, but. It feels like there's no weight in this at all. This is special. I've got, I've got a coaching session coming up soon. Um, because I think I've got a fairly large technical flaw in my game. Having watched and edited back a fair few videos of myself lately, kind of started to notice that actually my cricket bat, when I come to play a shot, is almost like out here. And I mean, once that's gone, I'll be scoring under it for fun. Oh, slower ball, that's sneaky. 
Oh my word, that's horribly close to that camera. Tell you what, this is a beauty. Oh, get it up there, boy. I'll tell you what, I'd very much recommend the World Class Willow. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Maybe I need to name it. Maybe I should name my bat. See ya. And the other thing as well, and something that Mike says quite a lot at World Class Willow, is that actually if you look down and you look at the piece of kit that you're using and you feel confident using it, which is half the battle. But my word is this thing a piece of kit. I think my defense is probably the worst part of my game as well. It feels like I'm just pushing these. That one I didn't push and that one's gone straight up in the air. Felt like KP there. But honestly, this feels like it's gonna do half the job for me. <laughs> and the other thing as well, is I'm very, very aware that bearing in mind, I think in theory, there is a game of cricket that if I was around, I could play in a week today. No chance it's gonna happen. Just flicking this off all over the place. And the first ball I face in April is gonna land and possibly not even come back out again. Pudding itself into the, the soggy Sussex countryside. Oh, that's a hack, isn't it? I genuinely think my chance of success blocking is way lower than actually trying to hit the, hit the seam off it, so to speak. But yeah, what a bit of kit. Yeah, huge, huge thank you to, to Michael World Class Willow for putting this together for me. Oi, Poppy. To have the pads and the gloves that just feel nice. I feel like I could take kind of a Mark Wood Yorker to my shin at the moment and survive, walk away. Oi! Missfield, four runs. Last one. One very, very happy customer here. Ah, oh, honestly, what a piece of kit. What an absolute belter. Thank you so much to Mike at World Class Willow for sorting this out. If you are in the, in the market for one, I would thoroughly recommend having a look because they are very good.